Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 13 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum walkthrough. So, we need to do some Georama now for us to go forward, so we're just going to download our Geostones quickly. But we need to go and pick up some more followers to actually let us progress, so we are going to go grab, grab them in this video. As I said in the last one, we are going to get all of the followers in one video. Right now, we're just going to get the ones that are required currently. Alright, so... We are going to go to Palm Brinks, because we need to get a few people. Uh, actually, we're going to go to uh, Sindane first, because we have to get a, collect an item from the future, actually. Alright, so we're just going to uh, go over to this shop here quickly. Since we're already here, we may as well pick up an item that is required for uh, getting another follower. So to get Donnie, you need to have a dark coin and an indestructible coin. Alright, so to get Parn to join us, we need to come and collect an item from the golden egg over here. So if you watch my 100% Giorama guide, then this will be here for you, no problem. You just go up to it, press X, and you get your gold paint. And now we can go give it to Parn. So we just talked to Parn, doesn't matter what he has to say. <laughs> He's basically just telling about the golden egg in the future, but we already have the paint, so we just give it to him. Boom, now we got two more followers. So we also need to get Sheriff Blinkhorn to join us. Now we don't need to read his dialogue. So basically, you have to do, I'm not, honestly position yourself, okay, I messed up. Position yourself perfectly, because this run sucks. It has to be perfect timing, absolutely. Get as far away from him as you possibly can and press X. Okay, so now we are going to do the race. You can't. You have to do this as Max. Ready, steady, go. Do not let go of L1 or uh, do, don't let go of the left analog stick at all whatsoever. You need to try to cut as many corners as you possibly can. Just don't do anything except for hold down the L1 stick, or the left stick. They give you literally just the bare minimum amount of time to actually get this done. Okay, you just hit X on the boat, you hit it twice, and then you just run back as fast as you possibly can.
Okay, we're almost there. Just start mashing X. Just mash X. <laughs> Literally five milliseconds. Or maybe those were nanoseconds. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He he joined us now. But seriously, they literally give you like no time for error at all whatsoever. It has to be absolutely perfect. Okay, so we're going to uh, get Priest Bruno now. This one's much easier. Okay, so all you gotta do is say, be my friend. Doesn't matter what he has to say. <laughs> all you have to do is solve a puzzle. This one's easy. So just... So we're gonna grab this one. And then this one here. This one. And then the final one over here. And we're done. Basically, any candle in uh, the surrounding vicinity will get turned off when you do that. Cool. Now he joins us, and we're done. Now we're just going to go pick up Stuart and Ferdinand. And then that's everyone that we'll need for this chapter. So this guy is easy. You just need money. Okay, so we give him a thousand dollars. No. You just bring him two thousand. Two thousand gilda. Now you leave and you go back in. And he'll give you six hundred back. Now we're going to go get Ferdinand. All you need is a chestnut for him. And now he joins us, and we're good to go. That's all the followers we need for uh, Balance Valley. Now for some Giorama. <laughs> we just have a list of all the materials that you'll need. Don't forget to get the 10 purple paint and 10 pink paint. All right, everybody, here we are. So, we have everything that we need, so we're going to put two homes on platform number four. And we'll put two of them on platform number one. So we need to put a gate and a fence around one of the homes. That's one of... Uh, Blinkhorn's requirements for living here. It doesn't have to be perfect, as long as it's like mostly around. If it's mostly around, then it'll be good enough. Oh. Well, we do not need to enter the house. We just need to move the guy in. All right, so he's happy with that. Then we're going to move Stuart in here. He doesn't ask for much. So we have some chimneys too, just to kind of bulk up our culture points. And 
Okay, so we also need to put this star lamp onto a building. We'll just put it on this one. We need to paint one of these houses purple. So if you just got the extra item inside of Parn's house, you should already have it. And I just like to do the other one pink as well. So we move Parn into the purple house and then move Julia into the pink house with the star lamp. That's what I've always done. Okay, so we need to put the church down. So I like to put it onto the big platform here. Now we're gonna put Ferdinand over here on the second platform. Okay, so we need to put this weather, we don't really need the weather vane and warehouse, but it, um, it's a picture. We also need to make a well as well, <laughs> which is another picture but we are not able to craft that quite yet. And the warehouse. Uh, we'll put that over here. And the laundry as well. Okay, we need to put pot torches down. I'll just put one at each person's home. Now we need to put down all these trees. Okay, so now we just need to move people in. Now we need to put Bruno in at the church over here. Cool, that's 100% Giorama. I know what you're thinking. We are only at 80%. That's right. So we have to actually finish this place and then we'll automatically get 100%. So that's it. This is 100% Giorama, even though it says 80. We just have to continue off with the story now. Time to just go to the future. She's in bad shape. We want to give her your miracle dish so she can get better. Could you make it for her, please? Hmm, I see. 
I wish I could help you, but there's a special ingredient I need to make my miracle dish. A special ingredient? To make my miracle dish, I need a white windflower. People say that it's extinct now. You can't find it anywhere at all. You used to be able to find them flowering in deep valleys. A white windflower, huh? Monica, there's a chance that it might grow back in Starlight Canyon. Yeah, it is the past after all. Okay, Lao Chao, we'll see what we can do. Alright, so we just have to go to the Starlight Canyon and then go to uh, the dead end. Just go to Barga's Valley, and then cutscene will happen, and then we just kind of do, do our thing. Condor, we don't want to fight. We want to ask you something. Hmm? What's that now? We're looking for a white windflower. Have you seen any near here? White windflower? Haven't heard of it. I bet you could find one from the sky. Will you help us look? Mm hmm? I don't think so. I've got enough to worry about. What's the matter? Look at that, will you? Some weird old something is up above my home, with my dear chicks inside. I'd like to give my sweet children some food, but I can't get near the place. Looks like a time distortion. I guess time is starting to be affected in this era, too. Distortion? That's right. When Griffin disturbed the flow of time, it started to warp and become strained in places. Those places are time distortions. There are already lots of time distortions in my era, but it looks like they've started happening in this time, too. How can we get rid of it? Whenever there's a time distortion, there's always a fragment that falls out somewhere nearby. If you hit that fragment into the distortion, you can make the distortion go away. Really? You can get rid of it? Well, what are you waiting for? I'll help you find your white wind thingy when you're done. Really? Okay, Monica, let's get rid of it. It's not all that easy. Here, hold on. Now, where is it? There it is. This is a time distortion fragment. It's also called a spear. Be careful, you can't touch it with your bare hands. You hit it with a long stick or something. It's not too complicated, but it's hard to get it into the distortion. We need some kind of long stick to hit the spear with. See if there's some kind of stick handy. Then I'll show you how to hit the spear. So we just gotta head over here, and there's a stick just hanging out on the ground waiting for us. Hey, you got one! Okay, let's try it. Okay, listen up. 
You hit the sphere with a stick and send it flying. That's called taking a shot. Make a good shot and you'll get the sphere into the distortion. But there's one thing you've got to remember. When you hit the time distortion fragment, also called the sphere, against something, it changes color from blue to red back to blue, like that. If the distortion is blue, you can only wipe it out with the red sphere. When the sphere and the distortion are the same color, they repel each other and it won't work. So if your sphere is the same color as the distortion, you have to hit it up against a wall or something and change the color back. It's the only way you can wipe out the distortion. We call this hitting the sphere up against a wall to change its color, bumping. You can bump the sphere as many times as you want, but the number of shots you can take are limited, so watch out. If you don't get the sphere into the distortion within the allotted number of shots, the sphere disappears and you fail. In my era, we call the act of wiping out time distortions like this, Sfida. Some people even play Sfida like a sport. With the world in danger like this, I know it sounds pretty dumb. But I guess people like to escape from reality. That's about it. Did you get all that? Want me to explain again? Okay, you can try it now. Good luck. Okay, so we have to uh, equip the stick. If you somehow manage to get um, an actual speed of golf thing, I think you could use it here as well. Okay, so all you do is just kind of line it up and then hit it within the uh, white part. And be do better than what I did. Don't get it into the sand pit. <laughs> we have a limited amount of shots. So depending on how hard you actually hit the thing, it'll uh, go further. So I'm going to hit it as hard as I possibly can into this thing because it should bump around inside of the actual thing. If you're lucky, that is, but we were not, so... Oh, that's too bad. Want to try again? Yes, we have no choice. <laughs> If you hit it on the perfect note, it'll go even further, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending. So I think we're actually just in view of it right now. Yeah, perfect. So we can just hit it directly in and we're good to go. So maximum strength. Boom. It's weird. <laughs> Take it if that's what you need. After all, it's thanks to you that my children are safe and sound. Thank you, Mrs. Condor. Well, I'm off. Oh, 
almost forgot. Uh, when that strange hole thingy disappeared a while ago, this fell out. It just gets in my way. Here, take it. Basically, it's a real speed of stick now. One that's a little bit better than normal stick. See you. Let's just save up. So we need to go back to the future now. After we feed my fish. <laughs> and equip our normal wrench. It's always good to feed your fish throughout the game. So you don't have to grind as much later. If I haven't f been feeding this fish, its tenacity would still be at like 18 or 19, whatever it was when we started. Now it's at 25, just for me feeding him. I still need to go get some more fish and train its strength a bit. And uh, evolve it more too. Okay, so right here. So now we're just going to go back to Lao Chao and he'll make us his miracle dish. <laughs> dumplings. Yeah, they look really good, too. Hands off! Those are Van Lin. I know, I know. Let's hurry up and get them to her. Okay. Crest gone off to training? Why didn't he wake me? Lynn. Why, Argo? You don't remember, then, about Master Crest? Looks like she's lost her memory. Huh? Lynn, Master
Master Crest. What about him? Uh, Master Crest is gone, Lin. He's dead. What? <laughs> Come on, Argo. Don't joke around. So you really don't remember? You must have amnesia. Master Crest gave his life to protect the Moon Crystal. He was a brave and wise mage. What? But... What are you saying, Largo? Where is Master Crest? Tell me, where is he? <laughs> Listen closely, Lin. I know you may not remember, but... You and Master Crest set out, like always, to inspect the Moon Crystal. But that day was different. A flying warship appeared in the night sky and opened fire on the lighthouse. Master Crest sacrificed himself to keep the lighthouse's Moon Crystal safe from harm. You must have seen that happen, Lin. You yourself came to me in tears and told me all about it. Have you really forgotten? No. I don't believe my master's dead. Lin, I know you don't want to believe it, but you'll never move forward if you keep running from the truth. Lin, we can go save Crest right now. We'll change his history so he won't have to die. You can save him? Why don't you come with us? If your memory returns, you can help save him. My memories... Master... Master Crest... I don't know. I just don't know. I can't remember anything. Lin, in the very depths of your heart, I think you want to forget you ever saw Master Crest's death. That's why you can't remember it. But your memories are crucial if we are to save Master Crest. You must do your best to remember. <sighs> Don't worry, there's plenty of time. Let's take Lynn with us and go to the Cape Lighthouse. Maybe that will help her to remember something. Yes, we have to try. Then please, look after Lynn. Good luck, and be careful. Alright everyone, so we are going to leave it here for this episode, so I'd like to thank you all for watching, I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.